Hello, and welcome back for more Fallout 3, where you join me and Liberty here inside of Canterbury Commons. Last time, we made the journey over here to the uh, center of trade for the Capital Wasteland, or at least where all of the caravan merchants have their base of operations, uh, thanks to an Uncle Ro, who's around here somewhere. There's his house. And uh, yeah, we established a merchant's guild and paid some money to expand their inventories and whatnot. And we also met a couple of characters, the Mechanist and the Antagonizer, as we came into town and we've agreed to help uh, the town resolve their little issue with um, two wannabe superheroes. Yeah. Evening. So that's our plan to go resolve that. Um, all we really need to do is prevent one of them from attacking the town and the other will likely give up out of boredom or something. Yeah, I'm going to go through my pretty standard way of resolving this. The first thing we want to do is find the antagonizer in her lair north of town. I think it's right over the back in this way. Somewhere. bunch of rubble in our way. I think we came in right past it. I think that's it off in the distance there. Might see a few ants wandering around. By the uh, wastelanders. In the refrigerator full of purified water. But we also got a clue from town that the antagonizer was formerly someone named Tanya Kristoff, who supposedly had her family attacked and killed by giant ants, and then was somehow raised by same ants. So now she has a weird command or control over ants and an eat. Hmm. Oh, we do have a map marker, I guess instead of running around blindly. If local map shows anything. Local map. Not yet. This might be the exit. Yeah, I think that's the exit. No, that's nothing. Okay. Yeah, okay, it does have a marker. Discovered antagonizers. Go to Canterbury Tunnels. That kneecap route. That should handle some ants pretty well. Couple of them packs to be on the safe side. Right, little booby trap. through here. Pretty sure it's just a circular path. Or it could just be a dead end room. What's the shotgun trap? I forgot there were traps. 
least didn't think to look for them. It's in the first aid box. No turpentines or anything that we could make use of. Right, I'll get out of the junk room. seen any red on the compass yet, so we're all right to run around a little bit. I'm not even sure there is in the first section. Might be more traps, though. Another branching path. That is a trap. Get over here. And some stuff. Stealth boy. Game gauge assembly. Another frag mine and another frag mine. And sit in a toolbox up here. Scrap metal. Basically. And okay, that's nothing on top there. A switch. Go down. Now there are rants. These aren't the worst ants to fight either. We'd be all right. Um, can't see that. Oh, there's a door. Pile. Oh, okay, just kind of missed the corner there. This. It's the only one in the area. So. Hi there. Completely unaware. Nice. to the antagonizer's lair. Put up the gun for a moment. I think we're clear initially. There she is. On her hand turn. We'll go talk to her. We should be fine. Let's get a rapid fire equipped just in case. And we want our talky clothes. Help get as much speech in as we can. Button swig. Naughty nightwear. 
I don't think we even use some great mentats. But we're up to 75 with all of our boosts in the bobblehead. Yeah, we'll get another 10 points for some great mentats. And 85. That's good. We'll try to resolve this peacefully and talk her around. Um, if we fail, we may have to fight, but we should be able to talk her around. So at last, you've penetrated the court of the Antagonizer, Queen of all ants! Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? See what we find there. Well, we don't want your answer a joke. Time to die, crazy lady. Yeah, we could offer to take care of the mechanist. That's one way of getting her out. Or, uh, yeah, we'll try to stand up to her. Your days of terrorizing the town are over. Give up and you won't get hurt. Ha ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Once I've finished with that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Oh boy, even with all that speech, our check is terrible. Oh no. Try it, I guess. Humanity's made mistakes, but there's still a chance for us and for you, Tanya. You're wrong. Humans are cruel, hurtful beasts. They can't be saved. We can't be. I can't. I can't go back. But I can't keep doing this. I can't be as bad as they were. Please, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I'll give you the suit. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please, let me have another chance. Okay, and she gives us the antagonizer's costume and helmet. Well, yeah, we could finish her off, but uh, no, certainly. Good luck in your new life. Thank you. I, I don't know how I can just thank you. We gain karma for that as well. They're reading the quest logs there, so now we have to resolve the mechanist. I think we could just finish it up now. We gotta report back to town for your reward. But um, we'll go visit both. We'll have her new call of quantum too. Thank you. There's some other stuff. And we'll look at the antagonizer costume. Carol. Oh, starts with the D. All right. Um, yeah, not the best damage resistance. Charisma minus one, agility plus one. And the helmet damage resistance four. Put it on. Yeah, it looks pretty snazzy. Yeah, I'll the light here a little more. That's still terrible. But, um. Yeah, we're good. We don't really need that. That's one of the rewards to obtain. We don't... Do we get a weapon? Okay. Pop-ups. Okay, I think if you offer to take out the mechanist, she'll give you her knife. To do that with. Lucky mask. Lucky shades. Okay. So yeah, she has a weapon to offer up as well. So look around her quarters. Up by her bed. Empty milk bottles there. Probably a skill book to find. Purified water will have. Nothing on this side. Hmm. Right. 
And then, yeah, if we fell to talk her around, a bunch of ants would have crawled in from holes in the side and it'd be a big shootout. But uh, no, we did good. We passed a very low speech check somehow. Yay, lock. There's nothing all over here. I'm just not looking well enough. But there is a back door out of here with an average lock that ain't a very common, so we'll pick this. Outside, and it's night time. 928. Well, fortunately, Canterbury Commons is a pretty civilized area. We should be able to run around with our pit boy light. Just fine. We can find our way back up to Canterbury Commons here. And we'll head off to the robot, some robot facility where Scott Walensky, aka the Mechanist, is hiding out. I wonder if any traders have shut Hello, is anybody? There's no. Yeah, there's nobody here. See that marker off in the distance. Just find a road to travel. It's right on a road, too. This is a department store. Sales or something like that. Yeah, here it is. Robot repair center. Clear and sale. Everything must go. One door there. Yeah, just the one door. All right. Um, key protectrons, I think. Leave it with the kneecapper, maybe. It's been kind of fun. Don't use double barreled shotgun too much. Okay, into the robot repair center. Coffee mugs and coffee pot. That's pretty good. More coffee. Nukas? Another quantum. Oh no. Rubber capacity. What can we do about that? Blood packs. Blood pack. Ooh, a guns and bullets to read. Or. That was a couple of pounds. Did I pick up anything to patch? Oh, yeah, we still have all these assault rifles. Could have given them five more. I suppose I could have remembered 15. And that's what I need. Junk. Boxes, turpentine. Right. Well, we'll just try not to pick up too much stuff. Could have waited for a trader back in the Canterbury Commons. Remind me to leave the cigarettes in the desks if you find it. Okay. Okay. Oh, we'll open this average box. I think there was a note in the cube. This isn't what I'm thinking of. Alright, yeah, some pulse grenades under somebody's desk. We'll have those and go over and cover. That's fine. Frag mines. Full Q can just go away. It's fine. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of purified water out of that bridge. <laughs> and strange meat off of hunters. Good grief. There's always buff out. Surprised by Mr. Gutsy here. Set on fire. You know, Kneecapper's not doing such a hot job against Gutsy here. That did a better job. I was kind of only expecting Protectrons here. 
Best terminal. A note from Frank. I can't take it anymore, Bob. I don't trust those turrets in Sector A. I swear I saw one track me the other day when I left work a little late. If that thing opens up on me, I'm screwed since the bastard fed suspended workman's comp as part of the war effort. Hell. Snake helped me snuggle in some pulse grenades that I locked away in the box under my desk. I tried one out on her handy at the house and the missus nearly killed me. Knocks him out like the light. If you ever need one, just grab the key from behind my terminal and use it to unlock the box. You can't say I never did anything for you. See you around, buddy. Oh, and stop throwing those staples over at me. They get on the floor and you know how I like to take my shoes off during the day. Okay. So yeah, that was the note. And up here, there should be a, like a key behind this terminal. It don't matter if we already unlocked the desk. Oh no, that was from Frank. This is Frank's desk. It was with the show off where the key was. Oh, whatever. Behind one of these desks, there's a key for that box. The average lock. in here otherwise yeah, we should find like a Dean's electronics or maybe even a Nikola Tesla and you in here somewhere Let's lock on this door oh losing them pins again turrets and a sentry lot oh great 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 pulse grenades pulse grenades mm. turrets didn't look that powerful right they're mark six boy try to sneak attack the turrets but that could alert the sentry bot Grenade the sentry bot that alerts the turrets. Pulse grenade might even take out the turrets, but the sentry bot. Let's hmm, see what a sneak attack does against these guys. What's chassis or thingy? I'll try to hit that little thingy if I can. All right, that's one down. Good shooting. There. All right, turret's gone. And uh, level 17. Everything's pretty high. Yeah, put explosives up to 75. I don't think we got the bobblehead for that one yet. What do we have? Hmm. I was saying melee. Speech, sure. Speech to 60. Points to unarmed. Okay. Big guns and a point to barter. Why not? Okay. And for our perk, we still have sniper. Chemist. Any chems you take last twice as long. Yeah. Not bad. Light steps still up there. Action girl. With the action girl perk, you get an additional 25 action points to use in bats. That's um that's pretty tempting. Tag. We can add 15 more points to another skill by tagging it to pass. And chem resistant. 50% likely, less likely to develop an addiction to chems. Thing from the past still looking around gunslinger iron fist demolition expert yeah a bunch of the same old right so light step or action girl 
a pretty good toss up. Avoiding traps would be nice. Action points would be nice. I think we're probably pretty good on action points that the traps would be the slightly wiser decision, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with light step. Now, let's take care of our friend, the sentry bot down there. throw a grenade at it. Uh, oh, we can, uh, that's a grenade at it. Seven, all right, yeah, well, that's a grenade at it, sure. That did very little. That's another grenade. Right, now we just start spraying it with the looks really fast. Alright, that's one sentry bot taken care of. We have a lot of scrap metal around here if you're looking for scrap metal. We're good on that these days. We'll take a tin can if there's one around. But yeah, there we go. Nikola Tesla and you. We'll get some more energy weapons. Very easy ammo box. Another stealth boy to weigh us down. Although I'm. Yeah, we will be giving up the antagonizer costume when we get to the mechanist. That'll spare us some weight. If we go up from here. It's over here. Sector A terminal. Need that water. Get an easy lock. Let's see what's on it. Rodents, leaders, reasons, poisons, rodents. All right, that worked. Note from management regarding sector B. Or shut down turrets in sector A. Memo: Tension warehouse repair employees. Please make sure the main platform in the repair sector is properly raised before releasing the repaired bots from their pods. All units receive firmware programming to make their way to the main entrance and await pickup. Let's get them there safely and not repeat last week's accident involving a Protectron falling to the lower level. That error cost us time, money, and was an embarrassment to the company and our DCTA account client. Management. Okay, well we shut down the turrets in Sector A. I think we'd already shut them down, but maybe that wasn't Sector Packs now. Make some dirty water. Good, good. Anything over here behind the door? Oh, we still got the Nikola Tesla and Yuta. Let's do that. Right, two points to energy weapons. Behind this door? There's another sentry bot, and I wasn't sneaking. I don't think he can find his way over to us, but he can still shoot at us. So that's inconvenient. Gatling laser at this range, probably not the worst. If we can chuck a grenade that far. Yeah, all right. Here, catch another one. 
Ah, oh, that one. Well, the alert is faded. Robo brain. Oh, where did? Yes, it did. Kind of glitching around something down there. It's vulnerable in a sentry bot. That is not. These aren't really torso legs. Now there's nothing vulnerable to a sentry bot, is there? Messed up that robo brain. Nice there. Sentry bot isn't alerted by that. Hit the door frame again. But it would have gone down before I ran out of ammo. No, no such luck. Missile missed, fortunately. Oh, there's more. Security sec sector B security terminal. Easy lock. There might be more turrets we can shut off. Fine, that sounds good. Look how shadows crafted best. Shot. Shot me. Do I say? That is. Oh. Rust. Yes, crafting. The only one it could be at that point. Note for management regarding sector B. Oh, that's the same. And shut down security in sector B. Putting down defenses. Thank you. Over here. That is the actual way to go. In sector B. Petron pods, turrets. Or sector terminal. Note for management again. Oh, the door we picked must have brought us back up around. Doing book. <laughs> All right. And this way is somewhere down. I think. Should be an elevator up there. Yeah, hard lock to the mechanist forge there. Up that way. And back to the entrance. Ah. Said back up around. We could pick the lock. There's no need. Not now. Back around through this door up here. 
can check this pod. Easy lock safe. Few caps. Easy lock safe. Uh, sector A encryption key. Don't need that anymore. The emergency terminal. Sector A. Shut down turrets in Sector A. I think we already did that. Activate emergency pulse explosion. Eh, why not? It's charging. I heard all those terminals. Okay. Oh. Well, that was neat. Alright, another way of disabling security, I guess. Inside the Mechanist Forge, we got a Lion Congressional style on the desk. Three of eight caliber rounds. Broke the Tektron. And 32 rounds. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like there should be something here. And across the coffee pot, we can activate the coffee brewer. Behold. Longest door sequences. Do we have to activate it again? Oh, and don't close it. Open. Are you broken? Um, there's supposed to be more doors. A lot more doors. Why is the door broke? Is it because of the pulse no, it couldn't be because of the pulse shield explosion. There's a whole nother area. Let us in. Oh, do I have to do something here? Yeah. Activate something. Door gear. Had numbers on it. It's been a minute. I'm sorry. I remember Tranquility Lane. Mostly. That's one of the longest door sequences. Pretty cool. I like all the different doors sliding open. There are a lot of them. And yep, there's uh, the mechanist. We should be alright without any speech gear, I think. Well done! You have defeated the vile antagonizer, and you've brought back her suit so that we may destroy the last taint of her villainy. Hand it to me, and I'll make sure that no one else can ever bear the mantle of the foul antagonizer. Oh, all right. Wait, first, let's talk about what you've been doing. Quickly then. Evil never pauses to contemplate its actions, so I see little reason that we should either. Oh, if we could use Black Widow to make him a stop. That's tempting, but uh, my mistake, never mind. Quite all right. Now, give me the antagonizer's suit so that its evil may not fall into the wrong hands. And why do you want the suit? I can hardly leave it lying around for someone else to find, now can I? The threat of the antagonizer must be put to an end forever. I must not let her threaten all that humanity holds dear. Even now, twisted souls may seek to continue her legacy. have it. You don't need to worry about the suit or other threats. If you want the suit, you'll have to take from me. Well, we don't want to fight him. Yeah, there are a couple of rewards we can get. One would be the mechanist suit that he's wearing, which, like the antagonist, just cost you know, looks neat, but isn't all that great. Or we can get a weapon from him. Now, if we talk him down and get the costume, that's pretty much the good ending. He goes back to being Scott Walensky, the town's local mechanic, Hudson Man. Um, 
we go for the weapon, which I think is what I'm going to go for. I don't know if we lose karma, but it's kind of a neutral ending. He goes out to bring um, justice to the wastelands. Stuff, but, uh, so we'll give him the antagonizer's costume and say, here, you can have it. Just move on and leave Canterbury alone. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, Canterbury Commons is safe. And for your loyal assistance, I'm honored to present you with this laser pistol, crafted from my last loyal robot assistant. May it guide you well. But the mechanist cannot rest. Not while there's evil afoot in the wasteland. Farewell. Now we do lose a little bit of karma for that. We lose the antagonizer's costume and helmet, and we get Protectron's gaze, which is another unique laser pistol. Right here. Let's see, there's Smuggler's End. 17 damage, and, well, it does a bit more damage. I think it has a slower rate of fire, and pull it out here. That's it. As like a Alright, I thought it might have had like a spread beam. But nah, another laser pistol. And that's fine. It's probably about the best reward for this quest. Again, the armors look neat, but they aren't worth all that much. I want that music. Got a tin can around here. Take those micro fusion cells. And let's see. Um, I guess we can make our way out of here and head back into Canterbury Commons. We wrap this up with Uncle Ro. Next time, get on with the rest of the journey. Cause yeah, it'll take us a couple minutes to get back and dialogue, and this one's taking up enough time. So, all right, next time we'll check back in with Uncle Ro in Canterbury Commons. Until then, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.